I went down to Bridgeton in Cumberland County, Jersey today to meet with renowned artist Brian Ackmonster Ackley. Uh, Ackmonster, however, isn't your traditional artist. His canvas, whoo, huge chunks of wood and pieces of tree and logs. His paint brushes, however, <laughs> are chainsaws. Now I walked around his property and checked out some of his amazing work. Just your average bear holding an owl made with a chainsaw. Now you'd think that people would be wary of stealing from a man who uses a chainsaw for a living, but on Friday that's exactly what happened to Act Monster. All of his chainsaws were stolen right out of his work shed. He told me exactly what happened. And they uh, took this sledgehammer. Yeah. Your sledgehammer? My sledgehammer. What? His sledgehammer? On the wall. Yeah. And smash. Right. Off come the lock and in they go. Yeah. And then they just stepped in here and that entire wall was packed with chainsaws oh, and a man. generator, toolboxes, tool bags. Oh, you took all that? Grinders. So the silver lining here is that, act, to Act Monster's surprise, the story went viral. The community rallied around him and started coming to his house, donating him money and even chainsaws that they had at their house so he can continue to do his really? work. Yeah, he was blown like away by the icons. response. And this, he's a self-proclaimed, like, he's not a people person. I, um, I'm kind of like the Grinch that my heart was very small and uh, now it's three sizes too big. Uh, it's kind of restored my faith in humanity and there, there are good people out there and they, they need to be recognized for being good people. Completely freehand on a raw piece of wood and with his chainsaw, he was making art right in front of me. Ready to saw, baby. Stylish and safe. Stylish and safe. I don't think I completely ruined it, so that was pretty good. Uh, it was definitely an interesting tool to create art with, but uh, it certainly felt pretty manly, to say the least. Uh, How was that? Good for first time. <laughs> and he's actually commissioned by parks and recreation departments in different states along the eastern seaboard, and he's going down to actually demonstrate for people. He's paid to come down and demonstrate. He's going to be gone for about 10 days, hitting eight spots. And he's got some tools now, thank, thank God, from, uh, from the money and the tools that were donated. That I'm not surprised the community came out to help. Life can be mundane sometimes. It's cool when you've got an artist in your midst who's doing something unusual. People jump out and want to help a guy like this who's doing something cool. <laughs> Chainsaw Carver! Yes! Amateur Chainsaw Carver, never let me do that again.